So this is part two of my Amazon haul. Um, it's just replacing working decks. So um, I bought some white sage incense um, from Sock. So I got that from Amazon. Just like I said, trying to keep my um, spiritual supplies going. This was less than $10. Um, and it comes from India. So I got that today. Um, there were two separate shipments, so I got two separate delivery times. I also got a replacement deck for my Morgan Greer, which has become, you know, worn out and everything. And I wanted to make, to make, to get a backup copy. Now, what I'm starting to notice is while this is very good cardstock, I've had it for years and now finding the need to replace it because it's finally getting chipped and, and worn out. And things of that nature so eventually I do have to replace this one um, and putting this one to retire I just got a new one today my second copy and while it still has the beautiful backs and everything there is a completely different cardstock this is way thinner cardstock and it feels like it's gonna last less and um, I noticed that about US games the older decks like the classic decks, like the right of weight decks, the albino um, right of weight and things like that. The original uh, copies or the older versions have started your card stock and they have been replacing it with these flimsy card stock now, which lasts less and chip easier. So um, I really hope they go back to their old card stock um, and things of that nature. But I'm going to do a quick flip through of the Morgan Greer, but I can't be the only person that's noticing how the old classic decks, the card stocks are starting to be changed, but not in a good way, if that makes sense. So, and it's not like the prices are going down. The prices go up every year too, a lot of times. It, like I said, it's a beautiful deck. It's just very, very much thinner than the original Morgan Greer that I have. I love this deck. It's a working deck as well. It's a deck that I have rediscovered and I'm using it for a client reads. So it's a working deck. Um, just a quick flip through for anyone who hasn't seen this deck. That's the backs of them. I just, I just love this deck so much. I love the close up, the color. Um, every time I've used it, I've gotten, wow, what deck is that? Um, and things like that. So, you know, I've done readings and things. It has just gorgeous colors. So, I hope they go back to the original cardstock. So, we'll see how this one shuffles and stuff for me. It's why I don't really use the Abino weight deck I don't like the cardstock it's flimsy the version that I got and I noticed that it's blurry so and when I watch other people with their classic versions I notice there's a difference between the version that I got last year so I really hope that uh, US games starts to put some respect on these older classic decks and go back to the nice cardstock that they originally had is it's a shame I just wish there was like consistency across the boards with um, Los Caribo uh, US games and things like that but like I said beautiful court cards I love them there's nothing about this deck the, the artwork that I don't like I love how close up everything is in this deck. I think that's what I love about the Handsome Roberts too. Everything's so close up. So definitely this deck is like on my top 10 forever's deck kind of thing. I 
I'm going to still hold on to the original copy, but I'm going to start using this one for client reads. It feels like it'll shuffle good. Just not maybe last as long, I guess. Because the first copy I've had for so many years and just found the need to replace it. I love this three of swords. And this four of swords. I like the close up on the face. I love this five of swords too. This, the blue and the reds. It's just a very up close personal deck. Love this nine of swords. Just love the classics. I'm I'm into classic decks. I'm gonna be honest. I I'm a traditionalist. I, I appreciate modern decks and everything, but for some reason I just I love like these types of decks. Like I have an old soul, I guess. I love that Queen of Swords. I don't know why I just love her. Um like I love Robin Wood, uh, Morgan Greer. Hanson Roberts, the various editions of the Rider Way Smith, and the clones, and um, yeah, we just love them. Love the mustaches. Love the Nine of Pentacles lady. love how some of the court cards are facing forward facing sideways i love the direction of the faces this deck i read directionally a lot it reminds me of cardomancy like i love that part um so yeah this is your quick flip through of the morgan greer let me know if you've noticed over the years uh the change in u.s games playing card stock versus your older version of decks and things can't be the only one that's not noticing that this is the last video of the day i've been doing videos between readings today oh yeah yeah um please like please subscribe please comment below and um yeah let me know if you notice car stock changes over the years uh let me know if you have the morgan greer if you like working with it as well and if you want to work with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis shamanic at priestess.com is my website you can get a psychic reading i do spell work so just have to book a pre-consultation everything will be discussed in the consultation um, also, I do spiritual investigation readings um, and things of that nature, and I am a root doctor, so I do root work and spell work and spiritual healings and all those kinds of things. So much love, much light, much blessing. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and until the next video, and please leave a comment below. Bye, guys.